We're here with Ben and Paul from PS I Love You. Hello. From Kingston, Ontario. One of the many two-piece bands that we're seeing these days. You're on guitar and effects, you're on drums. Yeah. And uh, we were just talking about uh, um, M for Montreal last November when you guys played. I thought you were one of the better bands that, uh, that played there that, that, that weekend. Um, now, you've got this album called uh, Meet Me at the Muster Station. Yeah. And um, I want you to explain the title for me first. Sure. Right. Uh, well, the Muster Station is a place on a, any passenger boat where everyone sort of gathers to line up to get in the lifeboats and the boat's sinking. Um, so the muster station on the Wolf Island Ferry, which is in Kingston, is kind of one of my favorite places in town. So I, I kind of wrote it about that and also about this feeling of uh, trying to get organized to survive when everything's sinking, sort of a metaphor for my life. Well, this, this album has, has really taken off. Uh, it's been bandied around uh, for a Polaris Music Prize. Uh, um, what time is it now? Okay, in about 35 minutes, we'll find if it makes the, the long list. Oh, really? Sweet. Which is kind of cool. That's neat. Uh, and then you've also got this uh, Madonna cover on, on this Paper Bag Records compilation yeah. uh, of Where's the Party? Yeah. And the way I describe it is um, it, the bones of the song were good. It took you guys to get it right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not really? That's cool. Why uh, that song? Uh, I liked it because it wasn't as a mega hit. Like, Paper Bag wanted to do this coverage album with a Madonna album, True Blue. And I thought that was a fun idea. So I picked that song because I thought it was good, but not one that everyone knows. It's like a number one mm. Billboard hit or whatever. Or maybe it was. I don't know. I've never heard of it before. No? no uh, it's a, it was it's a deep cut on the first side of the record. Yeah. yeah I remember and hearing I, it someplace, and I don't know why. The thing, yeah. the thing that really turned me on to it, though, is, is the lyrics. Because it's kind of about... Uh, uh, it seems to be about trying to grow up and get into adult society, but still wanting to party hmm. and uh, not growing up too fast. And uh, I can identify with that, yeah. I thought. And uh, I don't know if we did it right. I mean, I cut out two of the verses. Just to no, I, th I think that's called doing it right. Oh, stripped it down, okay. <laughs> I often, I have trouble with songs that have too many words. So. Well, you're awfully busy on stage with the, with the guitars and all the, uh, all the effects pedals that you've got. So. Uh, make it simple. Now, yeah. you guys have, must have toured an awful lot over the last year or so. Yeah. I have a couple of questions for you that I'm asking everybody. First of all, you must have had some kind of weird spinal tap moment where you're going, I can't believe this is happening to me. A couple. When we were at Stonehenge, we had a lot of... Uh, Stonehenge? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's obvious. But, you know, because of the... Life-size Stonehenge. Okay. Because of the, the Stonehenge cameo in the movie. So yeah. Were you, were you, why were you at Stonehenge? We, we had a day Europe. off on a U UK tour, so we just... Uh, our tour manager Gavin took us to Stonehenge because we really wanted to go see it. Yeah. All right. But uh, I, I, from Montreal is actually one of the weirder moments because I got to watch AIDS Wolf, who we were talking about earlier, uh, with Gene Simmons, uh, which was just really surreal and kind of like not like good vibes, but just like really weird vibes. I never thought it would happen before. And then asking him about what he thought about AIDS Wolf. What did he say? He said that he liked them for being so brave. <laughs> AIDS Wolf is playing here yeah. at North by Northeast. Yeah. I would highly recommend seeing AIDS Wolf just because you will not believe it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's Amazing live act. Uh, completely. I, I, I couldn't imagine sitting down and relaxing listening to that to any of their records. No. But live it is an intimidating experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's good though. It is good. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and catch them simply because I didn't get enough of them in Montreal back in November. Well, every show's different. Yeah, I can't imagine it being too structured. No, all right. Next question is um, the worst dressing room or worst bathroom that you've had to endure while you've been on the road. It could be uh, at a gig, it could be at a truck stop, it could be anywhere. Oh. I often don't go to truck stop washrooms. <laughs> I hold it in. <laughs> You're a regular. Uh, there's a lot of them. So we had some bad ones in the... Uh, I, think, I think the bathroom that we played at in Manchester was the worst. Mm. So it wasn't a yeah. toilet, it was just like a hole. It was rough. It was like this metal... It was kind of like an outhouse. This was at a gig? In yeah. Manchester, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Last question. Uh, any bands that you want to see badly this year? I'd like to see Twin Shadow, but I don't think I'm going to have time, honestly. Yeah, we don't have time to see any of the bands we want to see. And Chad Van Galen would be great. How many, how many gigs do you have? We have two, but we're going to Madrid for a day tomorrow. Yeah. I'm sorry, well, you're going what, huh? To Madrid, Spain, for a day. Yeah, we, One fly, there. we fly there tomorrow. And we fly back. Wow, that's pretty cool. What's, what's the event? Uh, it's a festival sponsored by Heineken. How bad can that be? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty good, I think. It's gonna be, be good. So your gig is today is Thursday. So your gig is yeah. uh, we play, Saturday. Oh. Well, we played eleven at the Horseshoe tonight. Tonight. And then we 
secret special guest at Emma Combo at 2. Yeah. And then we fly to Spain tomorrow, <coughs> late morning. Yeah. Life of a rock and roll star. Yes, so. See, one of the questions I was going to ask, give me a rock and roll moment. I'm sorry, two gigs at a festival, you have to hop on a plane, yeah. fly to Spain, play a show sponsored by a giant beer company, and then yeah. come home. I mean, do. How bad That'll is that? That's good. It sounds like a rock and roll moment. We'll be back in, 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 at home on Monday. Yeah. No, really? Yeah. How rock and roll is this? I'm a, I'm a little bit worried about our band's carbon footprint, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is going to be a little we thick. we got to take these opportunities when we get them. So. Well, good luck with that, and thanks for dropping Thank by. Great record. Good luck with the Polaris Prize, and we'll see you guys around. Thanks, thanks so much. much. Right. Nice to meet you, Adam.